Beep, what's up everybody? L-U-I here, post-workout, it was wheels day. You guys are being saluted by me pretty much on a daily. This video was not programmed, it is on the go. Let's see what's happened on my Facebook page <laughs> real quick. Now this picture actually right here was taken from the current issue of Flex Magazine. I salute this guy, you guys can find him on Instagram. His Instagram is IFBB Pro Michael Lockett. He has an absolute superb uh, upper body. You know, he has some weaknesses. I don't salute his back and I do not salute uh, his legs. But, not, but nonetheless, he has some good bellies, baby, please. Uh, you know, all over the place. I mean, the shoulders, the arms, you name it. Thing is, well, this picture, first of all, I do not salute. I have no clue, Mr. Lockett, why you choose this picture when there is a clear titi. The titties. Your tits are absolutely not loyal and you have some crazy good picture on Instagram. You should use those. Why did you choose this one? It is absolutely not good. The others you have, you look harder and your tit was absolutely more loyal. Nonetheless, a lot of you guys sent me this picture because of this. Because of the beef carnivore protein, it tells you there is clinically tested muscle building a study that pretty much, uh, if you take two scoops, uh, like for eight weeks, it will give you eight pounds of muscle mass. Really? Freaking, we, we, we don't have enough with freaking duck, eggs, embryonic substances. Baby, please come by with the frog uh, machine. Right now you want to add a beef a protein that gives you freaking eight pounds in freaking eight weeks. Really? Bro, I take this. I combine it with freaking duck, eggs, uh, cell uh, substances. Baby, please. I'll be Mr. Olympia by 2017, bro. For real. Absolutely not to be saluted. And by the way, guys, like my Facebook page. Link is at the bottom. You might be featured on my video like these guys right here. Anyway, proceed, <laughs> shall we, boss workout, uh, bro. This guy is absolutely not to be uh, okay, saluted. Okay. Look at that. Just the drinks. Nothing. There we go. Look. Then you get a little basket and you put whatever you want and then they'll press Make the juice. Okay, but see, Dr. Mm -hmm. they don't have the full food menu there. That's okay. Just the drinks. That's interesting. So this bullshit right here, it is a surgeon, a doctor for that matter, trying to make uh, fake abs for a dude, right? He's pretty much drawing the lines, like ridges in between the abs lines to make him have abs. And if you guys heard, he is talking about a restaurant and food. This 15 second video resumes in a sense the whole problem to living in this freaking society. People are so lazy. With all due respect, bro, I don't know you. And by the way, the guy who is pretty much uh, receiving the surgery is awake the whole time. So the doctor is pretty much sucking up the fat in these ridges. And then he tells him, squeeze, bro. Sweet. For God's sake, with all due respect, why don't you go to the gym and, and squeeze the hell out of him? Right? Instead of going to a surgeon who talks about food. That's the problem right there. Probably you're not eating well and you're not doing the proper training at the gym. For all I know, you're not sick and you look young. Why? Why are we this lazy, this freaking species? You go to a freaking doctor to acquire some freaking fake abs? Absolutely not to be uh, uh, saluted. Huh? Proceed, uh, shall we, bro? Uh, there we go. Now, this happened yesterday in the UAE, United Arab Emirates, and this is an Indian bodybuilder. So I'll play it, it has no sound. Just watch. Just watch. You know what? I'm going to make it bigger. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let's, let's make it bigger. So you guys will see absolutely what I'm talking about. Where is it? Indian guy. Come on. Look at the bubble gut. Look at the bubble gut. He tries to, to hold the pose. And the bubble gut is absolutely not loyal. Look at the size, the oblique. They're about to explode. Look at that. Let's go back. This is my cow, bro. Look at the, uh, the obliques. Look. Right. Let's do it again. Boom. See the obliques? It's about to explode. Right. This Indian guy, his name is Tenvir. And probably he won. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, of course, this is not uh, induced naturally. He was not born this way, right? Need to consume special stuff to acquire this. And it is absolutely not to be saluted. Especially, he's not that big. Look at his legs. Right? 
I don't know where, where this so-called sport is going, but it is absolutely not uh, to be uh, saluted. Uh, proceed, uh, shall we? Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, this picture, I posted it. I was at the gym, right? This is when I salute the titties. I cannot miss that opportunity to, to talk about. Look at the titties, look. These titties, baby please, are the only titties that, that out to be saluted. Those of the oak. I mean, he developed some crazy titties. And bear in mind, bear in mind, if you go back and watch some old pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was even in his, let's say, early 20s, his chest was not that impressive. There are some pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger next to Serge Nubre. May he rest in peace. And Serge Nubre was smoking Arnold Schwarzenegger in the chest department senseless. And then he gained in the chest department. And believe me, it's not all about, uh, you know, uh, it's not all about genetics. You need to do a proper, proper exercise to optimize the chest development. For that, guys, think about flies, which he was doing pretty much on a daily, not with heavyweights. Right, flies are absolutely to be saluted. He was doing them properly, those stretch the fascia of the muscle, thus optimizing the very, the very basically growth and uh, basically development of that very muscle group. Right, and he was also doing those deep dips. The dips, I, I, I commend you to do the flies and the dips. Do not dismiss these two exercises, baby, please, and then you might acquire some titties that you would basically rock on a daily basis baby please that's what's up i salute you whatever you is before letting you go i'll show you the exercise i do at the gym i love this exercise my, one of my best oh, ones the back press. i absolutely do salute this child exercise right here on the back press i don't count the sets when it comes to the reps though 20 25 Stretches absolutely all the so I do this exercise a lot for my cows and as I mentioned uh, the rep range is between 20 25 I don't count the sets I go by instinct and you know cows you can hit them pretty much several times a week in my case they take it quite good and you know <laughs> So that's it. Admire my my scar right here. For the record, this scar, which is quite long actually, I acquired it when I was a kid. Uh, I was living back uh, in Algeria, bro, and there was a dog running after me. I was, you know, I entered like a fence to acquire like my uh, uh, my soccer ball. The soccer ball went uh, over the fence. And there was a dog called Laika. Laika, bro. She is gentle, but she was defending her territory. And I had to escape. So I was going underneath the freaking uh, the, the, the freaking fence. And there was a barbed wire. A barbed wire that literally entered uh, here. And I had to escape. So it was either Laika biting me and destroying my, my foot or my leg. Or me escaping. So I escaped, but the barbed wire pretty much gave me this scar. Um, that's it. It was absolutely not to be saluted before the story. That's what's up. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the LUI on YouTube, also on Facebook and on Instagram so you guys will be in touch with me pretty much on a daily basis. Baby, please, and that's what time it is. Be saluted.